listen, from creation, we've been killing it ever since we knew how. Skinning out in lamb's wool or weaves of flax reeds finely stitched to flex our art and protect our parts, our hearts in this new expression of our humanity. Sartorial beauty made possible by technology. Garments made to weather the sandstorms of life. We made big moves, conquering dunes before conquest was a question. Best dressed in the desert, draped in blankets of perfection. Berber and Fulani pride broadcast in every single stitch, just one manifestation of the richness. We were stripping bark from trees, soaking and beating into soft sheets and twisting into magic. The fabric of life in Uganda and Zimbabwe. Eesh. Meanwhile, West Coast was modeling threads after the spider's web, Asante say. On a loom for eight limbs weaving silk into glorious maps of belonging, each dress an address of legacy and identity, custom made for every custom, from puberty to delivery, a dress code for the business of living. With mourning, the biggest fashion moment of them all, life's exit and entrancing celebration of draping and cinching, folding and pleating, flashing and preening, color-coded to broadcast sage and stage, class and sass, each stitch a gun salute, remembering preserved in every smoking thread of kente or ikate, the ewe say. Chalele! All the while, we in Sudan were trying our hand at cotton, spinning Nubian technique into textiles to exchange as wear encountered wardrobe, trading lives for style. True fashion victims, stolen in threads and chains, the fabric of death. And yet, we got our life. Kutnun, Katun, Ukutuni, Algodal, Alugudon, Awuduga. The cotton we planted in Togo with sorghum to sell and learned to loom in Islamic style. We made our own country cloth, Batakari, Gonja, Ashuke. Each weight and colorway woven into generations of genius and tradition. The local yielding to global forces of fair and war, a clash of faiths and Christian missionary styles, a mingling of multifarious tastes played out in African fashion. The televised revolution sartorialized. The African market and body a canvas of artistry and industry. A new generation is owning all of it, not just working it, making profits, venturing into the cultural capital we helped create, taking our share on the world stage, staging new techniques in fashion weeks from Lagos to Dakar to Harlem's Fashion Row and always on these streets, showcasing le savoir-faire des sapeurs, sketching new norms, flipping roles and hemming expectations, fashioning and documenting our liberation and evolution, giving heritage a fresh silhouette and a revolutionary palette. Recasting spring, summer, fall, winter, and resort, rewriting the language of warm weather whimsy from boho to bladao and nawao. Afrique stays chic. These threads of origin woven through colonialism and the brutalism of the trans-Saharan and Middle Passage trades curated to pass down legacies of looks for days, crafted into moments and movements, acting as witness of our independence and our interdependence, a testament that the story of African fashion is only just beginning now. What are you wearing?